Hey there. Today we're going to look at the words that you will encounter in Fly, Eagle, Fly. Two of the first words that you might find is gully, which is an indentation in the earth formed by water. So there's a picture there. Down at the bottom would be like a little creek and it really formed their kind of sharp steep cliffs. That's a gully. Reeds. Those are tall plants that look like grass. Then you also have a valley. Now that's a depression in the earth between two hills or mountains. So the difference between that and a gully is a gully, like I said, is they're sharp. There is not as big as a valley um, and they're sharp cliffs. So in a valley, it's more of a flat depression in the middle. You could probably walk down there. It's probably very pretty. So there's a picture of a valley. Clutched, that means to grasp or hold something tightly. So this caterpillar is clutching his blanket, his towel. I'm not really sure what that is, but he has, has a very tight grasp on it. Echoed just means to be repeated. So this bird is chirping and it's echoing its own chirp. So you will hear it over and over again. Scrambled. In this story, scrambled means to move quickly. So they scrambled away. Thatch. That is a roof with straw reeds or palm leaves. I see Mrs. Horvath has made a spelling mistake. It should say a roof. So that picture there has a roof that's made with straw or some kind of plant material and it's thatched together. They actually weave it together like a basket. Calf is a young cow or a bull. And there's a picture of a cute little young cow. Huddled, that means to crouch together and get close. So in the story, when they talk about the chickens huddling together, it's kind of like a football team and they huddle to discuss what their next play will be. Reluctantly, doing something in an unwilling way. That means you don't want to do it. This picture is about a little girl who has to take medicine. She's reluctantly taking it. She doesn't want to take it. Maybe it tastes bad, but she still has to do it. Crevices. That is a narrow opening, usually in a rock or a wall. So again, we had valley, which at the bottom of hills or mountains is a flat area. You have gully, which is an area that has been formed probably by water, and it's usually steeper, and you can't really walk down there. Then you have crevices. So when you look at a wall, when you see a crack in the wall, or if you see a big piece of rock and there's a crack in it, that's called a crevice, just kind of like a crack. Then we have ledge. It's a narrow surface coming out of a wall or a cliff. This person in the picture is doing something that's highly dangerous. They're standing on the ledge of this big rock cliff here. Something you really don't want to do. I'm not sure why they are. Majestically. That's with impressive beauty or scale. The lion here, people could say he's majestically walking. He's huge, he's very beautiful, and he's majestically walking through the jungle. Clamored, that is a very strange word. It means to move or climb in an awkward way. There are goats in this world that like to go up into trees. When they climb them, it looks very awkward, kind of in a way that doesn't look normal. So you can say they clamored up the tree to stand on it. Thank you for watching. And again, you may rewatch any of these videos if you do not understand what some of the words mean in the story. I do hope they help you and have a great day.